Hey there folks, Jay Barino here, StarCraft Remastered, Rebel Yell, the Jacobs installation, let's go! Office of the former Colonial Magistrate. Your tenure as Colonial Magistrate is suspended, pending an official investigation of your affiliation with the Sons of Korhal. Receiving incoming transmission. Hey man, Arcturus' boy sprung me from the prison ship. Apparently, they're as frustrated with the Confederates as we are. I know their reputation, but they seem to be on the level. I think Arcturus wanted to speak with you. Commander, Mar Sara is almost completely overrun by the Zerg. The Confederates are abandoning the planet, and so are we. However, there is one thing I'd like to do before we leave. I want you to raid this colony's Confederate outpost and retrieve whatever design or weapons schematics that you can find in their networks. With the chaos of the Confederate's evacuation, you shouldn't have any trouble getting in or out of their installation. I'm into it. I'm into it. Also, Arturus Mank's new portrait, similar to StarCraft 1 original, he really needs to do something about that hair. It's, it's embarrassing. Also, thank you commenters for letting me know. Ooh. That's very cool. I love how seamless it is. That's incredible. There's old Jim Rayner. There's new Jim Rayner. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's so great. And it really it really highlights how how good it looks. Oh my word. Okay, let's go. We do have Stimback here, probably won't use it. We're also 3-3, which is real good. Jim Rayner's a very good hero. So there is a way to go around the main room that has a bunch of defenses in it, but I don't remember. I don't remember where that is, and I don't think it's this way, but let's just kill some civilians. Completely uncharacteristic of Jim Rayner, but hey, let's, you know, why not? I really like the look of the remastered Firebat attack animation. It's it's just, it's really good. It's really smooth. Big Firebat fan. All right, let's get going. This will be a short one. Wall traps. So yeah, this is where we don't want to go. We don't want to go through here, because I think there's a Goliath... Or maybe two, and some Marines on the high ground. I would. I don't want to engage them uphill. We can go around and then get to them. The look of the tile set is quite nice. They added some little splotches here. I don't think those are supposed to be shadows. I think that's supposed to just be spilled liquid of some kind. Liquid. We also want to find our little Zerg Easter eggs optional section on this map. I never remember exactly where it is, but we'll find it. More civilians. Get them all. Sure. There we go. Oh, yeah. This mission, I think, I mean, the, the the first cinematic, the first couple cinematics with the guys driving the truck and and then the original intro cinematic really set the tone for what this game is, but then you hit this mission and then you're just killing civilians at, at whim. They're not, they're not neutral. You can just murder them. It's, it's pretty dark. Also, I should catch a glimpse of those, uh, take a look at those civilians, because... For the longest time, I didn't realize that the the sprite had a backpack. I always just thought they had really unappealing mullets. <laughs> but no, as it turns out, it's it's actually it's actually a backpack. The more you know with Jay Barino. Let's go this way. Could we? No, we couldn't fit through there. This is the only way to go. Should lead with Jim. He's a hero. He can take some heat. Okay, let's go. What color? What color were the those Marines? What color are they normally? Are they white because it's Alpha Squadron? That makes sense. So coming through here, I think, takes us back to the main entrance. But again, we're on the high ground now, so we can... Well, not here, but eventually we might find where those Goliaths are. Probably shouldn't even bother... I, I, I shouldn't even bother going there until later. Let's just go back here, because I think there's a, a teleporter, and then also the, the Zerg might be in this general direction. For as many times as I've played this map, for some reason, I still don't really have the, the layout still don't really fully understand the layout. Maybe this is the time, because I'm really talking about it so much here. One of these doors might be locked. Well, not this one. I think this is the teleporter? No. Look at the be The beacons look quite nice. Automatic defense system deactivated. That's what I'm talking about. 
Okay, well, let's just keep it up. No, uh, no automatic turrets. I don't actually know where those would have been. I don't know. Oh, here's some critters that we can see. Kill that fire before it gets close. This door is locked. There they are, Rhinodon, Ursodon. Nope, sorry, Ragnasar. Ursodon's the polar bear, isn't it? Let's get these fire bats before they can really hit us. That's good. Okay, wait, I gotta see it. Yeah, see, it's that's not a mullet. That is definitely a backpack. My whole life I've been lied to. It's all been a lie. Cell door's open. There's gonna be some zerglings in here. Let's let's get our fire bats in the front. Ah, they still explode into weird green smoke. Good to know. Yeah, the, the critter deaths are so strange. Sorry, Rhinodon. Okay, let's continue. I think we have to go to a teleporter that's up in this direction, or maybe it's way back at the beginning. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's keep it up. Then could lead with Jim Rayner. It's fine. We are 3-3, and if we lose a couple Marines and probably the Fire Bats, it, it won't be too bad. Especially because there's a ghost, or maybe two ghosts, near the end of the map, which do a very good concussive damage. It's called the, it's a concuss concussive damage flag. Uh, it does They do full damage to small units, basically. All right, let's let's keep going again. I, I hope this is the right way. It must be. This, this leads somewhere, but I don't really know where. It's the turrets that are going to catch us off guard. Okay, well, we're going somewhere. Let's see if we can get out of here without losing any units. You think it's possible? I mean, I know it's possible, but do you think it's possible for me to do it? Oh, the moment of truth. Send them down the stairs with one with one click and let's see if they make it. I mean, they, they won't, right? It's the same game as what we're used to. We just avoid this door because there's vultures in there. I think there's a trap here. There we go. All right, we're going to spam click our way up the stairs. It's the best way. It's the best and only way is to spam click up the stairs. That marine took a little extra damage, but we had no choice. Okay, teleporter. Teleportation field activated. Okay, you don't want to spam click that because your units that get teleported will end up doing weird stuff. Unauthorized entry detected. You know, weird stuff. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Get him. Kill him. There we go. Our fire bats do have one extra armor, so they have a little more survivability than the marines, at least. But they're, they're just kind of terrible in general. We're almost there, actually. I forgot how short this mission is. Those missiles look interesting. Definitely different. What I'm really excited about is a lot of a lot of old user maps will be transferable into remastered, and we can play them. Nothing that nothing that modified MPQs will be playable, but a lot of a lot of old stuff like the precursor maps, the enslavers maps, a lot of used map settings maps will be usable, which is awesome. Okay, we're already there. Oh, there's the ghost. Down he goes. Okay, and we've we've basically won. We don't have to clear out the whole room. Some turrets here. Again, haven't lost anything. My weak marines are in the back, so they shouldn't be at too much risk of dying. No, 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 stay back here. I am determined to get you all out. I think there was an earlier version of this map where you had to then leave. But unless they had new units spawn, it's just kind of boring, so maybe that's why they just had it so it ends once you get the data disk. I'm not sure. All right, it was a short one, but starting with the next map, we're going to start seeing some lengthier maps, specifically the next one. I think that's, that's the Antigua one, right? Yeah. So starting with Antigua, that's when we start getting to some longer kill everything maps, build and destroy. Looking forward to it. Hope you are too. Again, thanks for bearing with me with my upload schedule. I am uploading one of these a day. 
But then when I return, I will find some new StarCraft 2 and, and StarCraft 1 series. I still have a version of StarCraft 1.16 on my machine so that I can still play older custom campaigns. iQuare has created a new one. It's called The Reaver Menace. So um, looking forward to that, but it's only playable in StarCraft 1.16.1. So I can't play in StarCraft Remastered. And that's that's kind of what I was talking about earlier. Anything that modifies MPQs until basically we have to wait for the patching frequency to be reduced so that tools, the, the modding tools can catch up if we can even use them in Remastered. We don't know how diligent Blizzard is going to be with stopping that kind of uh, modification to the game files like ha like what was happening in the original StarCraft. Either way, uh, I'm looking forward to it still going back and playing the original StarCraft for for some nostalgia factor and also it's it's the, the visual difference and some stuff that we can only play in it. Obviously I'm continuing Arcane, but again I'm on vacation. I didn't have a lot of time to record too much so I thought hey why not play a game that I know very well until I'm back. So we'll continue Arcane, we'll continue Remastered. When I come back, I'll find some new uh, some new series to start as well as we continue through Remastered. All right, thanks everyone for watching. I will see you next time. Bye now.